Flame City family, what is up? Art and Bobby coming at you on a gorgeous Chicago late afternoon for a hashtag Fridays with Flav. I've uh, been missing you all week, but like I said, I wasn't sure we'd be able to do the uh, earlier live streams this week because we're grinding. We're grinding hard with the new cookbook. We're really so close to done, I think, after next week. Well, we have to be done after next week. Uh, we'll be good to go. We can go back to three live streams a week. Uh, but I figure since we're doing only one this week, we better go big. We better go outside and enjoy the weather, fire up the grill, which I cleaned yesterday. There was a surprising amount of soot and uh, sludge in the oil box, so it won't go on fire today. And we're gonna make a grilling and chilling recipe. Uh, we're gonna have some watermelon to start because why not? Um, so, hey, let's do some homework first. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from today. Say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almacy, not the first, not the second, the third. Greetings, greetings and salutations. <laughs> Art's in the house. It's a beautiful rosé kind of day. I hope I brought my wine opener out here. It is, I saw it. Oh, it's good. right on the first tray. First tray. There it is, perfect. I'm gonna crack a bottle of Keto Rosé. Uh, we got some uh, beautiful pasture-raised ground pork from ButcherBox this time because I couldn't uh, order from Thrive Market because they've been out for two months. So here's the menu today, right? Uh, we got a lot of folks Is it, it going to be the uh, watermelon vodka slushy that Gochu Chang's recommending? And, and maybe about the ro the rosy, the rosy slushy uh, watermelon vodka thing. Hello, everybody. So here's the menu. We're going to take some ground pork. We're going to season it with some really fresh herbs and spices, and we're going to form little kefta. We're going to grill them. They're going to be delicious because, we're number one, pork is very fatty, so they won't overcook. But number two, we got that beautiful uh, pasture-raised ground pork. Right, that's the only kind of pork I would eat. Bobby, you just got a uh, super chat from I see. Labetta, Labetta Hawk, five dollars. Can you give a shout out to my husband? It's his birthday. She's hey. making him lamb chops. Lavetta Hawk, thank you, Lavetta. Your husband, happy birthday. Lamb chops is probably the best way to celebrate a birthday. I hope you make them the way we do them on the channel and on Instagram and a hot cast iron pan. Individual chops. Um, so, Lavetta, we're gonna make the little ground pork kept up grilled up we'll make some kind of yogurt sauce maybe something similar to last week uh we're gonna grill a bunch of vegetables like uh peppers zucchini we'll throw that into a salad with wild rice rice cauliflower super fresh super clean cause ain't nobody fresh as me i feel so fresh and <laughs> art can you finish that one or not what is it someone will do it for me cheers you guys it's friday we got some sugar-free keto no chemical rosé here you go thank you so much jen thank you so much jose thank you sierra you don't know that old uh was it outcast song fresh into clean clean i'm not uh familiar with the outcast i only know uh one of their songs interesting okay it's all good bombs over baghdad wasn't that one of theirs um i think that's another band rage rage no no no, no, no. that's not rage bombs, bombs over, over baghdad, baghdad. I'm not sure about that. that's outcast uh it's it's watermelon season now. How do you feel about eating watermelon as is? Or do you ever take a hey, little uh, bit of... Hey, that's also one of theirs, right? Yes, hey, yeah. very that's, I know two of their songs. Do you ever take a little bit of, a little bit of salt? Just put it on there? It sounds funky monkey, How but... How much salt would you put? Probably a twang. Okay. Just a twang of salt. Look. It balances out the sweetness out of the watermelon. And it actually makes it taste better. It brings out that kind of like really fruity flavor of the watermelon is delicious well don't mind me i'm just gonna eat some watermelon but let's get rocking and rolling ah, dinner now unfortunately thrive market has been out of ground pork now and pasture raised pork for two months so check it out Dirk's i went nice. over to butcher box and i ordered a pork bundle i got ground pork i got uh, bacon in the fridge and for tomorrow if it's good i'm gonna try to sign up for the affiliate program and score you guys a deal uh, you got a super chat from Tiffany Bass, yeah. four ninety nine. Keep it up with a uh, pair that's doing old bicep you, curl. Oh, Back to you, Tiffany Bobby. Saw. I worked my biceps hard yesterday. Uh, Milwaukee Brewer, my homie. Did I add watermelon or vodka to my watermelon? No, I've only done that once. My cousin did that when we were like seventeen years old, and my grandma walked by. My like eighty some odd year old grandma walked by, grabbed the watermelon, took a bite, and go, "Ooh, that's sharp." She didn't know that was vodka in there my poor grandma what about grilled watermelon somebody mentioned grilled watermelon it's not one of those two that actually is better 
That's grill. Oh, and somebody, uh, Rick just said chili pepper is awesome on watermelon. We did that once. We did chili powder and salt last uh, week on uh, Stories. I liked it. Uh, maybe I was a little aggressive with the chili powder, right? What do you think? Uh, I think it was more than a week ago, but yeah, it was a bit much. Okay, so we got to make our kefta. Now, I can't go inside to wash my hands because Rose is sleeping right now. And all I have are these, they're not latex, what are they? Are? That's vinyl. Vinyl. I have these vinyl small gloves. It's like oh, trying to put something really, really tight on. I'm going to mix up my ground pork. I'm very excited because pasture raised pork is miles better than any pork you can get in the grocery store. So think of grocery store pork as really, unfortunately, very far behind beef and chicken. Because at least in the grocery store, you can get grass fed beef and um, organic chicken. You can't even get organic pork in the store. Maybe you could find like, organic bacon from uh, Applegate here and there. <laughs> but pasture raised pork is free to forage goes out all day and only has a supplemental feed of non-GMO grain. Well, as factory farm pork, the stuff you get in the grocery store, it never goes outside. It's always inside, inside of a small pen, eating GMO corn and soy. The texture and flavor of pasture-raised pork is miles better. So like I said, if I like the, uh, the uh, butcher box uh, pork as much as I love the Thrive Market, I'll sign up for their affiliate program and score you guys a good deal. <laughs> Somebody just made an OJ reference if you are struggling to put the glove on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if the glove don't fit, you must have Ooh, quit. Valina right? uh, in, in says, in Bulgaria, we eat watermelon with feta cheese. It's tradition. Ask Desi. She will tell you why. Da, Salt da, is not a surprise at all. Da, da, zvuči dobre. Lubenica s What's up, Chandra? Da, nogu vokusno. I en bogorski tozi e svinska. Svinska. Look at this beautiful. Get a little close up of this art. And Look Sophia says, I am Greek, and a lot of Greeks love to eat watermelon with feta cheese. I think we have a little battle here. Yeah, well, it's very, very similar cuisines. I mean, you got to think about they're right next to each other and the whole Ottoman Empire. Now, look at the texture of this ground pork. Look at the color. It's very, very beautiful. And um, because it's ground pork, it's going to have a lot of fat in there, which is good because it won't overcook. I'm trying to see if it has a He's got a super fan. chat. 1X Jerex 1, 499. Mod, mad love from Jerry at the New Jersey Shore. Oh, we know Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks I keep so reading much. Nerdum here. Zori just said your Bulgarian's awesome. Ah, blagodaria, payata. I'm trying to open this without using my knife here. Ugh. Hold on a second. You almost had it. I almost had it. I can't. You know what I'm going to do? I have another glove. So I'm going to take this off. Okay. Throw that in a slot bucket over there. And then I'll try to rip this thing. Arg. Let's see here. I didn't plan for this one. And Valina said, yay, Bobby, good job. I will send you homemade Leotanitsa from my grandma. Ah, uh, hopefully your grandma doesn't put sugar in the Leotanitsa because Desi's mom just sent some over and it's good, but she uses zakar, right? A little bit of sugar and I don't want that. As uh, iskam lutinitsa bez zakar. So if your grandma can do that, shoot me an email, bobby at flavcity.com. Bulgarian food's really, really yummy. Um, it just happens to be very starchy and carby. Um, but if you do it a little more clean, it's very doable. Oh, I'm having a hard time doing this. See, the problem is if I use that knife, the knife is kind of. You know what? I'm going to use the bottle opener here. Because once again, Rose is sleeping there and I can't go inside to wash my hands. Unless I go around the house and then I'll be gone for like five minutes. <laughs> Let me open this guy. Yeah, Aunt ja, Aunt ja Rose is taking her nap right now. Yes, Ro Rose takes her nap every day at three o'clock-ish. It was a bit later today because I was too busy transporting all this stuff out here. I feel like this is a episode of uh, Naked and Afraid. I'm in the wild now trying to open my... My, so my boar package. Aaron with an E says, hey, Bobby, I know your favorite Bobby approved ice cream is the so delicious brand, but you don't like the natural flavors in it. Check yes. out uh, no natural flavors by the brand Pressed Juicery. What's it called? The ice cream brand is called Pressed Juicery. Interesting. I've never heard of that before. I brought out more gloves. Where would those be? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard to find. Actually, someone today I did an Instagram live from Whole Foods. Someone was saying, hey, Bobby, check out oh, some kind of like witty name of bananas or something like that. What the heck was it? But they didn't have it there. Bobby, if you checked out Haven's Kitchen Sauces, would be so 
perfect for a five ingredient recipe and for your daily meals. Not um, a sponsor, just a big fan. Oh no, I've never heard of that, Hayden's. So I've been doing a lot of research to find like simmer sauces and sauces that have big flavor with clean ingredients. Because when you want to make semi-homemade meals or like stuff from the cookbook that's five ingredient, you have to rely sometimes on those sauces like that tikka masala sauce from last week. But I haven't seen that one yet. Tiffany Bass, the new book is coming out December 1st. Yes, December 1st. One that I really like, Chosen Foods has three simmer sauces now made with avocado oil and best ingredients. I use the guajillo and pasilla chili simmer sauce to make a five ingredient grass-fed beef chili with uh, chuck roast. It was phenomenal because that simmer sauce had so much sabor. It was totally local in La Cabeza. Maggie B in the house. Yeah, Annette S, the uh, kale hack. Uh, Annette. Hacker. The, uh, Hacker. Oh, the inventor. The inventor. Inventor. That's right. The inventor of that. All right, well, she says, hello, Bobby and Art from beautiful Wyandotte, Michigan. What beautiful. a nice night to cook well, outside. A lot of Michigan fans here. Yeah. Char, uh, Jill Chopsky, all those beautiful fans. All right, so And Valina says, no sugar, of course, since I'm your fan. Even Ma is learning keto. Love you guys. Hope hey, to see you in Bulgaria. Hey, love to hear that. You're welcome to, to, try to try visit me at the no Black Sea as my guests. Love to hear that. Okay, so I'm going to put this. This is compromised. I'm going to put that in there. And I'll just push this to the side. I want Rebecca sure. Bunn says, I recently purchased InstaFuel, and I now see there's a Proposition 65 warning on it for lead. Can you elaborate on why you drink it? So Prop 65 will be on anything that could potentially have lead that comes from the ground, because California is a little loony in the toonie. So coconut sugar, coconut water, pea protein, InstaFuel, which has uh, coconut sugar in there. You have to put that on there because, God forbid, there's trace elements of lead in your coconut sugar if you don't put that on the label, California sues you thousands of dollars per day. Don't worry about that. It's just California being a little loony tuny. D. Brown says, are those gloves and that knife OJ approved? Asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, let's season my ground pork. Once again, if you're just joining, welcome, welcome. Let's do a little cheers to you. Keto Rosé all day. Leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner. We're making ground pork kefta, but we're using pasture-raised pork. We're gonna grill zucchini and peppers and make a wild rice and grilled vegetable uh, salad with kale and rice cauliflower. Nutrient dense, fiber rich, protein loaded, good stuff. Char Troyer, Char 1999, is summer going is going by fast. Oh my gosh, sure, it's already what? Five, six days into August, it's crazy. So I have two pounds of beef here, so I need about two teaspoons of unrefined. I wish you could be my finger. All right, come here, be my finger right now. <laughs> This is Celtic a weird comment. kosher salt. It's unrefined and it almost has this wet consistency from the sea, but it is kosher, meaning it's not blessed by a rabbi. The granules or the crystals of the salt are kosher in size, which means it's easy to pinch. It's not fine salt that runs through your fingers. This is one of the best salts you can ever, ever get. Um, I would go for the gourmet kosher one pound bag. This is amazing stuff. So we'll put that in there. I have to take my OJ glove off again. I gotta do a bite of. I'm gonna run out of gloves at this point. I might have to go inside just for gloves. Mmm. That's good watermelon. Wow. Seedless, but it's still good. All right, a little bit of pepper. You can climb in through the window and, like, you know, somebody could, like, look across the way and say, oh, shoot, I better call the police. Yeah, right, somebody's exactly. climbing through the window. The cops are all up here. No, 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 it's a live stream. Mm -hmm. um, Art, go selfie style. Say hello to everyone. I'm gonna enjoy some S. Greetings. Greetings and salutations. I already used that line, but I'll use it again. So how is everyone doing this fine Friday afternoon? It's a fine Friday afternoon here in the Windy City. Back to you, Bobby. I have a question for you guys. I want to add a binder or breadcrumb to my kefta a little bit to loosen the texture. What can I add that's gluten-free, grain-free, and keto? What do you think I should add? I need water for that, so I'm going to add that. Let some of the uh, stuff roll in here. Uh, it's called Celtic Sea Salt, the gourmet kosher one. Uh, I'm going to do a sponsorship with them coming up in the next few months because I think it's the best salt on the market, and a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, let's see here. Almond flour, almond flour, almond flour. Al Ooh, what? Bacon? That, yeah, pork rinds would be great too. Almond flour. But if you want to keep it in the pork family, a little. How, how about that, Art? A little bit of pork rinds or chicharrones in there? Why not? Why not? That'd be nice. Bobby, who makes the keto wine? The keto wine is from that lovely company called Seco Wine Club. So what is keto wine? Keto wine is wine that's made with no added sugar and no chemicals. 
most glasses of wine will have three and a half to four grams of carbs and sugar per glass. This has 0.3, but more importantly, it's vegan, dry farmed, no chemicals, and basically organic. When you get headaches from wine, it's because it can add up to 75 chemicals there. You don't want that. Let me show you what's going on here. So I want to put some of my favorite stuff down here. Check it out. There. So down below in the description box here, obviously I have my cookbook link. If you want to check that out. Keto wine. You get discounted shipping rate when you click my link. Um, all my kitchen gear is on my Amazon shop page. And the last link is this clothes I'm wearing. It's from a company called Roan. It's 15% off with my link. They only make stuff for the fellows. But if you've been watching me, I've been wearing all Roan workout clothes and uh, casual clothes. It's some of the nicest casual clothes I've ever worn. A little pricey, but 15% off is nice. My shirt, my shorts, my workout clothes are all from Roan now. And I said, hey, can you give me a 15% off promo code for the fellows out there? And they did. Really nice stuff. Breathing Nerdum, $5. Uh, hey, homie. Bobby and Artem cooking steak while watching the hey. stream. Would you recommend almond oil? Saw it shopping and was curious. Mad love from Santa Fe. Thank you. Oh, Santa Fe? Nice. I didn't know that. Very cool. Um, yeah, well, almond oil is great. I wish my uh, Costco had it. It's great. Kind of like uh, avocado oil. It's a great high heat oil that's a very, very healthy fat. So, yes, I would crush that all day every day. I think I want a little more almond flour. And if you're worried that our grill is going to go on fire tonight, I'd say the odds of that happening are 10%. They're very low because I cleaned the grill yesterday and I had a surprising amount of soot and uh, schmaltz or fat oil in the slop bucket, right? Viviana Barraza in the house. There Happiest of Fridays. When in Rhone. Viviana was just DMing me and asking about a Bobby approved tequila. I said, when it comes to tequila, I go añejo all the way. Añeje for the win. Gochu Chang says, go inside and get that bacon, then wrap it around those keftas. That's way too much work. Ooh, a little bit of S. My boy's from Elgin. S on a hot summer day. Holy shnikes. Tell Ma me. Madeline went blueberry picking recently, 19 and a quarter pounds, and I must have eaten two pounds while I was there. Maddie, dang! Why don't you drop cow. some uh, blueberries off that? Where'd you go? Blueberry hunting. That sounds Randy amazing. Ippolito just gave you a $5 a super chat. Randy, Thank you, Randy. The $400 super chat guy from the other week. Thank you, Randy. He's losing a lot of She's losing it's a she. lot. It's a she. Yeah. Mm. Randy with an idea. She's losing a lot of yeah. wet. Thank you, Gail. Is that almond flour from Costco? What do you guys think? Is this big almond flour from Costco? Costco and Sam's Club have the best price. <laughs> by far and all Viviana fun. says I got something up my sleeve Bobby Art knows what's up <laughs> I think I do I think both of us do a little lime arena inspired top shelf uh, drink Glastonbury in the house via Arwen welcome nice Tyler my homie 299 from Tyler hey thank you Tyler's in the hizzo y'all okay so almond flour goes in to keep it keto also if you wanted to you can do uh, chicharrones and you just got thirteen ninety nine Canadian from Pamela Lee. Pamela's number one. Number Pamela's one. Number one. Let's see. Bobby's in the house. I feel needed over this video. <laughs> nice, Bobby. Love it. Love it. Gen H, five Canadian dollars. Love your recipes and getting my cookbook yeah, next right. week. Can't wait. What to make first? We shall see. Thinking the meatballs. Can't yum. I, you can't go wrong. Just tag me on social media so I see it. Um, if you have bought the cookbook yet and haven't left an Amazon review, please take the time to leave a little review. It means a lot for search rankings and stuff. Shout out to do here. all y'all. Shout out Indian men only. Welcome. I'm going to throw a little bit of parsley here. I just got a couple bunches of parsley. I think it'd be really nice if we got some rosemary in here too. Amira, Amira just gave you $1.99 and is blowing you a heart. Ooh, a, 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 a lemon. A lemon. A lemon heart. Chewy lemon head and friends is blowing you a heart. <laughs> Thank you, Amira. Come Tyler, $1.99. Much love. Tyler from San Francisco in the house. A little bit of parsley. Let's get some uh, rosemary. This is begging for some rosemary. You can stay here, but I'm going to go to my neighbors. There's some beautiful herbs there, and they always tell me, Bobby, if you want, just come over and grab it. Well, guess what? I want it. So I'm going to go. So do we have any Blackhawk fans on the uh, horn today? We've got the uh, Hawks on the verge of getting into the playoffs if they can win today. Should be pretty cool. 5.45 face off Chicago time. Oh, Super Chat. Little Italy Truth, $5. You know the mask is oh, super chat. Thank you unhealthy so for you, Flav City. Okay. Got to abide by the rules around here. Right up here. I got oh, there rosemary, you goes. Oh, basil. Super Chat. They're growing tomatoes here. Really, really beautiful stuff. We'll wait for Bobby to come back, Jackie, battle. but uh, thank you for that. Out. He 
is sleuthing for Rosemary. It goes well, Tyler. One goal indeed, Madeline. One goal. Jonathan Hill. Go Hawks. Love it. Okay. Fresh rosemary just has such a lovely aroma. Uncle Clark really loves nice. the Blackhawks. All right. So while you were out okay. there picking rosemary, yes. we got some super chats. I got to bring High up five. the speed on. Oh. Little Italy Truth, $5. You know the mask is unhealthy for you, Flav City. The mask? Mask, yeah. Which one? The Cubs one I'm wearing? What? Ah, uh, mask, I guess. Hey, they make you put the mask on and they go in the grocery store. I ain't got no choice for that, homie. And then Jackie Haddam Spiegel, twenty four ninety nine. Yes. Hi, Bobby. Can you email me when your immune tea comes out? I'm already on the plea list. Can't pre list. Can't yes. wait to try this. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Jackie. So if you don't know, um, probably late October, early November, I'm releasing my first ever product called the Flav City Immunity Tea. It's going to be a best in class ingredient powdered version of my turmeric and ginger immune system boosting tea on my blog. It's made with all organic turmeric, ginger, lemon powder, MCT oil powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and real honey powder. It's great for anti-inflammatory purposes and boosting your immune system. I didn't put the link down below, but we have 9,000 people signed up on the pre-sale list. Um, but Jackie, I will let you guys know and I will let all you guys know on a live stream the second it goes live because we're going to do a small run in the beginning because it's a very expensive process to get it going. And if it goes well, we'll keep making more and more. And then hopefully retailers like uh, Amazon and uh, Costco and the other guys will invite us into their store. Simply Grace with a question for me. Art, yes. what was the first video you worked on with Bobby? That would be <laughs> the guacamole episode that uh, remained on the cutting room floor. It Make it, make it, it may make its way out at some point, but uh, yeah. that's the very first episode ever. That was in the year 2012, right? 2012. And then, uh, let's see. Noreen, yesterday was my birthday. Can I get a shout out? Well, happy Noreen. birthday to you, Noreen. Probably happy 21st Caribbean. birthday, I'm guessing, Noreen. So our first video was in 2012, but from 2012 to 2017, I didn't really take it seriously. YouTube, I was kind of doing hit and miss. And then 2017, I said, hey, I'm going to take this serious. I quit my job. I focused on this full time. I never since 2017 to now, things just took off. But those early videos, man, no one watched them. That was, you know, it's very hard to get views and subscribers, but I didn't care about that. I just cared about making content and sharing recipes. But after I honed in and got my craft down and a good point of view, things really took off. Amira, $1.99, I have a ground lamb going to make, I have ground lamb going Ooh. to make the same. Yummy, the thank same you, thing. Amira. Thank you, Amira. That sounds awesome. Make Rachie, sure is that Rachie Murray? Our girl Rachie. $25 from Rachel. Nice. Oh, look what she's making, our Korean, Korean short, short ribs for shepherd that meat. That sounds amazing, Ooh. Rachel. Ooh, the company, the Flav City fan started with Tasmanian grass-fed short ribs. That's going to be at top. Maybe you can uh, FedEx Custom Critical us <laughs> a few just to taste. <laughs> well, I, technically, I do have them in my uh, freezer right well, there. She's making them now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, maybe by the time the FedEx got here, I can beat her a little bit. Milwaukee Brewer, $5. Thrive Market has raised $1 million in COVID relief funds. Isn't you that can cool? opt to donate whenever you place an order. That's pretty cool, right? Thank you for that, Thrive Milwaukee Market Brewer. Thrive Market is the real deal. They'll be back to sponsoring Fridays with Flav later in the month. I didn't want to commit to the next two Fridays because I wasn't sure I'd have time to do a live stream because of the book, but I'll probably do Gen it. Gen H uh, in Canada, Bobby, please make sure Costco Canada gets your tea as well so I can buy it. Well, or yeah. if it's available on Amazon, make sure your Canadian friends can buy it as well. Yes. Oh, we're going to take... We're going to take care of Canadian friends no matter what. First, it'll be available on probably my website, and we will ship to Canada for sure. I hate when Canadians get totally shafted by products not shipping up there and all that stuff. Costco, I don't know. I mean, if they place an order at all, they do what they want to do, but we will ship there for sure. Another super chat here. Everything, I assume it's a sunflower. I can't see the whole name. Four ninety nine and a hand claps. Thank you. Everything sunflower. There might yeah. be more to your name. Stangman I apologize. Says Whole Foods has beef it. short ribs for five ninety nine a pound. Yeah, that was um, that was a weekly special, but they weren't grass fed, I believe. But I asked a butcher. It's funny you said that. I asked a butcher yesterday. He said every Wednesday morning they get grass fed short ribs in. If you come, they'll cut them into Calvi Korean short ribs for you. Tervetuloa alang alangon tila. Now I think watching I'm from Finland. I'm, I'm short one. Oh, Finland's in the house. Nice. nice. I'm short Welcome. one glove because I have to form Kepta now. Hmm. Mm. I wonder if Rose is up yet. Interesting. We'll find well, out. Let's go to the grill. Come over here, guys. Going to the grill. 
There's a recall on onions. That is correct. Yes, there is a recall on. You got to be careful. Total recall. Never saw that movie. I buy the organic onions from uh, Whole Foods. Those are not on the recall. Grill is hot. It's clean. It's ready to go. Hold on. Who's that? So here's what I want to do. I want to clean the grates. And let me think how I want to do this. Christina watching from Ravenswood. Welcome. Oh, nice. That's a stone's throw away. Uh, Far away, so close, you two might say. I've heard that before. Yeah, I don't have another glove. By the Eric. way, welcome. Nice to see y'all. Eric a great Winslow time in Chicago, out. welcome. Hmm, how can I do this? How can Bobo do this? I guess I'll just have to uh, walk around and wash my hands or something. All right, I guess I got to do that. Going the long way? Well, yeah, but then my hands are going to be compromised too, so that's going to be an interesting stitch. Compromised. Can't tell us. Can Close you it. film in Costco now? A Costco ad showed up before your live video. A Costco ad? That's interesting. No, I can't film there, but I still do it, you know? Um, Put a used glove back on, Stella says. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's probably better than not using one. Let's see here. Taking the long way home, LOL. Let's see what this one. Here, I'm making this turn it inside out. You spin me right around, baby, right around. When you go down, when you go down, down. Tried malk and it's the bomb. Your malk is so good, but you have to drink it in seven days. Otherwise, it really goes bad because there's no emulsifiers. Uh, there's no uh, preservatives in there. It's like the real deal. It's like making homemade almond milk. Uh, and their malk creamer is the bomb. So what were we talking about earlier? So, uh, yeah, so the uh, immune tea will be out in the fall. I'll let you know. The book will be out December 1st. We're putting the final touches on that. It has to be submitted to the editor on August 15th. And then the Bobby Approved app is well underway. That'll probably be, uh, be in December, but uh, the Bobby Approved app will have a barcode scanner in there and all my information from every video in a neatly organized, searchable way. It's gonna be a game changer. Okay, I can't do this. It's so, not sanitary either, somebody mentioned it. <laughs> uh, better than touching it, but okay, let's do this. Just, Nancy Ochoa, two ninety nine, my hero, with a uh, emoji there. Thank, thank you, you, Nancy, your sweetheart. So check this out, Artie. This is that beautiful pasture. Yeah, what am I walking into? Walking into the fence here. Oh, a, lot, a lot of stuff here. Has that hazards of being a cameraman. Uh, so once again, I got a pork bundle from uh, from Butcher Box because Thrive Market's been out of pork and meat for so long. This is pasture raised ground pork. I have bacon in the fridge ready to go for tomorrow's breakfast. I have uh, ooh, dropping meat everywhere. Drop meat on Rose's thing there. And I have uh, some pork butt in the freezer, a bone in pork butt, which is really, really nice. Um, and if it's as good as I think it is, then I'll try to sign up for their affiliate program and get you guys some really good deals. So we'll Denny see. M just made her kids watch Kindergarten Cup the other day. Oh, nice. I love that. All right, so let's just form. Little kebabers. That's here. right, Maggie B. It's a bobby trap. <laughs> you don't even need um, like an egg or anything for this because the meat's so fatty. Look at that. I'm just going to grill it like this. All right? And then we'll make a nice little sauce for that. I'll we'll just grill and chill. So that's what's going on. If you haven't done so yet, leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. How many folks are watching right now? Are 968, buddy. Fantastic. If you want to take the link to the stream and share it over to uh, your Facebook wall or your Instagram story, go ahead and do that. If you have any questions for me or Art, you let us know. This is Fridays with Flav. I'll be normally do two to three live streams a week, but the next this week and next week we'll just do the one because we're uh, finishing the cookbook and it's a lot of work. Then we'll go back to it. But I got a video coming at you tomorrow about back to homeschooling, the best foods and snacks for your kids. I got a video on Sunday for you, uh, the top five things you really need to know about grocery shopping and how to avoid the pitfalls of the grocery store. Got a video next week coming at you about, uh, you know what I want to do next week? Would it be a good video if I do um, how to buy, wash, and store every fruit and vegetable in the produce section? Would that be helpful for you guys? Michael Kobitka, who is a local. I would love if you guys checked out Second City Prime Meats and let us know if they're Bobby approved because they're local here in Chicago and I want to try them out. I've never heard that. Second City Prime Meat? Interesting. Well, here's the deal. It's probably prime meat, but it most likely is grain-fed, GMO grain-fed, which is tasty, but we don't eat much grain-fed beef at home. But um, for beef, I like shepherd meats, like Rachie, my girl Rachie Murray in San Quentin was talking about, because um, it's grass-fed either California or Tasmanian, and it's really, really delicious. 
That's we're just forming these. And to be honest, you can cook these any way you want. You can do them in patties, or for my Bulgarian fans watching, you can do uh, kiptense, kibabchke, all those things. It doesn't matter. It's just about seasoning properly and getting that nice grill flavor on there. So what I'm probably gonna do is sear them to get them nice and crusty, and then to make sure they don't overcook or burn, move them to the top shelf. Top shelf, he scores! Uh, to let them cook through. Give them a little grill hay. A little grill hay. Also known as wok hay, maybe. Well, I'm if you're using a wok, wok, but yeah. So that's what's shaking, you guys. We're chilling here. Grilling and chilling. What's up, Sarah Winmuller? It's really amazing, the texture. The texture of the ground pork is just so fatty, but it's creamy, almost luscious. It's so different than the ground pork or like pork chops or bacon from the store. Because I talked about it earlier, pasture-raised pork is free to forage. It's never factory farmed. The stuff in the grocery store is only factory farmed and only fed GMO grains. It's really an injustice because you can get really good grass-fed beef almost any grocery store now. You can get organic chicken every grocery store now. You can find organic pork chops or maybe organic bacon here or there. It's really kind of bogus. The pig's getting shafted. Big league. All right? That's not cool. What'd the pig do to you? All right. We'll keep rocking here. Whew. If you didn't hear earlier, I cleaned the grill. It won't go on fire today. This thing gets dirty so easily. I was looking at buying another grill. I, I found a really cool one from Traeger. I found one called from Big Bear Grills, like pellet grills. I'm not sure my building allows me to have pellet grills because we're made of wood here. So I'm probably just gonna wait. I'm probably just gonna push it off and wait until next year, you guys, when we have the, the new house and the outdoor kitchen. Get a new Weber grill. What, gas grill. Get a Weber gas grill, like a, an expensive one. Yeah. The highly rated. Well, I think the highly rated ones are 500 bucks or something like that. That's inexpensive compared to some of them. Yeah, I know. I just, I know for sure I'll have one. We'll see. I'm still weighing on it. But whoever's keeping tabs out there, the next place we'll have the outdoor kitchen, the pool, the uh, outdoor refrigerator with the storage space. Just, I know someone has a tab there. Michael Kobitka says, if you don't like cleaning your grill often, you don't want a pellet grill. Oh, really? Interesting. And holy shnikes here. Holy Lee shnikes. Kurbis, $100. Happy grilling from San Francisco. Huge fan of Flav City. Hashtag keep on cooking. Hashtag mad love. Wow. That's Lee? Uh, Lee Kurbis. Wow, I don't know Lee. how to your last name. All but the way from San Francisco. Thank, Thank you so much, Lee. That is, I'll give you a porky high five. Thank you. How about that? And uh, Vangelic81 just gave you $5. Coming from Rialto, California, Flav City, and Thomas DeLauer have changed my life. 21 pounds down and counting. Yeah, oh, bro. yeah. Porky we are eating five. keto chicken parm tonight. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of love in California. We love my buddy uh, Thomas DeLauer, right? He's uh, got tons of food science information. I've got the cooking and shopping tips between the two of us. You can learn a lot of stuff. So we're gonna let those sear and get crusty on all sides. And I think just to make sure they don't stick on the top, I'll spritz them with avocado oil. Nice. What did you say yesterday, you said give me a spritz of ham. A right? spritz of ham. I was making a ham and turkey uh, keto sandwiches on the cauliflower thin. We were offering to make me a turkey sandwich. Yes. And then you said to Desi, do you want a ham? ham. So once I knew ham was available, I said, give me a spritz of ham a on there too. A spritz of ham, said Art. And I P love Piggy it. essence on the turkey. Roberta Crossman's doing some blueberry picking. Let's salt, nice. Let's salt bay this kind of over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, we shouldn't do it anymore because Art and I agree that salt bay is pretty much a douchebag, like the highest douchebag ever. But it's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's going to do its thing. I need to wash this hand. The we struggle is real. I can't tell because these things are... can't see in here. Otherwise, I gotta walk all around the house. I guess I'm walking around. You gotta walk on the side. I'm gonna walk. On the wild side. I'm gonna do the walk on the wild side. Okay. Um, let me do this. Maggie B, it is a beautiful, beautiful day here. Not just a beautiful day. I'll take a walk. Hi, <clears throat> Brian. Hello. Dee Brown says, a new place equals an invite? Question mark. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. 2021 goals. Yeah. <laughs> These on the short list to be invited for sure. Okay. Uh, Brad says to close the grill. Well, yeah, I don't want to do that and walk away. So I'll be back. Okay. Goju Jang said that? Uh, yes, he did. Goju. He's probably upset I'm not using Goju Jang. That's why he's saying that. 
All right, so, I'll be yeah. back. All right. So this is the part where Art tries to kill time here. Uh, Gen H, yes, you will see Rose at some point, I uh, would sure think. I don't have the keys to get in. Hmm. Okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> and this is also the part where uh, we find out how long Bobby's microphone will last as he walks around the building. I saw something about Christopher Walken. What was that? Where did that go? He's going to Christopher Walken. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, folks. Art commercial break. Yes, that's what we call this thing. It's not the greatest rig for going one-handed. And you kind of have to go one-handed when you want to scroll through these comments here. Willem the foe time. You know it, Brad. Go to Jang. Art, you always do a great job. Well, thank you, Skip. Uh, Yesenia. No, Bobby and I are not related, but a lot of people think that we're brothers. Brothers from different mothers. Guten Abend, Ben. Good that you're tuning in from Germany again. Late to the game, but I finally made it home from work. Let's see what's going on here. Art back on the selfie. That's right, Jackie. Hello, Randy. Hi, Art. Can you try to pronounce my name? Well, the D and the J put together are uh, throw me for a loop. Janara. That's my best guess. Please let me know if I'm close, if you can at least spell it out phonetically. Thank you, Bobby. This is your first video online. Sean, uh, the absolute first video is not online. It might have to be like a bonus sometime, like when we feel like, feel like putting out a really, really old one that is way different than how things are now. I mean, come on, that's Bobby's first video. And if you've ever tried to be on video, it's kind of awkward. Uh, you have to get used to it. And that was the first one, so it will be comical if we ever put that out there, that's for sure. 1,100 people watching now, that's great. How much ninja skills have you developed from hiding from store workers? I don't know if ninja is the right term for that. Um, I'm keeping an eye on these keftas. Ooh, it's dark over there. Ninja is not the greatest skill of mine. Because we're not all that sleuthy, but... Uh, oh, you can hear Bobby, so that means he's within range. He's inside the house. That's got to be it. All right. Jinara, happy to hear I pronounced it right. Art, do you read books? Ah, uh, Sarah, I wish I could say I do. I, it's taken me forever to get through a couple books that I'm in the middle of, so it's uh, pretty brutal. Ray Farrell in the house. Welcome, man. Just hit the like button. Yeah, I suggest you hit the like button. What's the term for an employee? So maybe that's ninja, like the fact that we use code Waldo. We call them Waldos. And Where's Waldo was the inspiration for that. And that was all about speaking in code. Can we get a video of the pork bum that Bobby says he has? Oh, that would be a great video. Well, we will have to do that at some point. I don't know where it is right now. Uh, yeah, Michael, I play guitar at my church. Currently acoustic because we're... Uh, Keeping the team small right now since we're reopening from okay. COVID, but normally it's electric and we're in full swing. Turn the meat over. Well, that's what Bobby's here for. Do I like Corvettes? Corvettes are fine in my book. I don't have one, but uh, it'd be nice to have one. Of course, one. as soon as I get there, Rose wakes up. <laughs> What's up from East Texas? All right, Woodbine. I like East Texas. That was home for me for a few years. I'm going to get some uh, sanitizing wipes real quick. You got a drink. This is the second drink. You all got. Hi, sweetheart. You really love cheese balls. Define love. Cheese balls are good. That's you know, join us outside. Cheese balls could be one of the world's most perfect foods, really. And if you define perfect as being imperfect, cheese balls are good. Honestly, I would take pretzels over cheese balls most most any day. Oh, yep, two shots. Go to Jang. Might stop the details. He came out, went right back in. So. I hear Rose. Put your shoes on, Rose, and then come outside, okay? Taking them along. There's a lot of comments here, folks. I'm trying to scroll through them, and there's a lot of them. Texas is hot right now. Yeah, I... I Let's go get your shoes. Texas summers are brutal. Shoes. Humidity and heat, and that's a double whammy. Get your shoes, Rose. denim. There's Rose. Rose wants to come outside bad. Is get she your going shoes to? on, Rosie. I'm just going to sanitize here. Rose's station. A little bit Station! Of, a little that was Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Well, I should get the uh, garbage can, too. <laughs> yes, you should. Whoop, you're going back in again. Going back in. See, we started off slow, but now you guys got to... 
Hey, hey, there's the roaster. Say hi, Rose. Rosie. Let's see how the captain. Say hi. You got 1,100 people watching you. Ah, they look perfect. We'll let them go. Go, go, gadget. Go, go, gadget, hi, Rose. Rose. You say hi to everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Yeah, Lamborghinis are pretty cool. All right. I'm going to get the garbage, Rosie. Put your shoes on with Kara, Rosa. Put your shoes on. Hey, Rose. Can you say hi? Yeah. Andrew, Art, say Thailand. Rose, say Thailand. Rose is 14 months old today. Put your shoes. This is her 14-month-old birthday. Rose looks like a typical landlady. Yeah, put okay. your shoes on, Rose. Can you sit down? Put your shoes on, then come outside, sweetie. Yeah. Michael's only drinking Everclear tonight. Wow. <laughs> That's an extreme, a extreme Friday. I boiled um, three quarters of a cup of wild rice earlier because it takes an hour. That'll be kind of the base of our, our time to turn up the base of our salad. Right, Rosa? Uh, Renee, I've never been to H Mart, and I'm willing to bet that Bobby has not either. Uh, no, I've never been to H Mart. I need to go there. A lot of people have asked me to check it out, to be honest. Do we have H Mart here? Yeah, there's one on the, uh, in the city. Uh-huh. Okay. Is Everclear Keto? Of course it is. It's, hey, I read the questions, man. Yeah. Pure alcohol, no carbs. It's like you're shunning me for asking. We don't know what Everclear is. Alcohols that are not keto are ones that have uh, mixers and sugar added to them. So pure vodka, tequila, cognac, those are all uh, keto. Well, rice is so good. I agree, Madeline. Hey, sweeto. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Uh, probably, Emily, but it makes it tasty, too. Let me clean up so Rosie doesn't touch any of this. Nasty pork stuff here. How's that watermelon treating you, Bobby? The Viviana, watermelon wants, actually Viviana wants to know. I have a theory that when you eat food outside of the house, it tastes better. So a cold watermelon on a hot balcony, winning. Hey, Rosie. All right, you guys, check it out. That's I've, a fine. Eating I've outside brings bugs. The kefta undisturbed. I haven't touched them. Now it's time to flip it real good. Why do they call pork from the shoulder pork butt? Isn't that funny? Yeah, I would say, though, pork from the shoulder, there's two types of uh, pork shoulder roasts. And one of them's butt, one of them is... Uh, What's the other one? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know there was a second one from the shoulder. It's, it's that, 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 that foreleg, I guess I should say. There's oh, the shoulder. Oh, no, there's the <clears throat> hip. There's the rump. And the I don't know. I don't I'll know. Find it's out just funny they call a butt when it's a shoulder. But yeah. Yeah. All right, so check it out, Art. I'm trying to get nice crustification on here. I'm not trying to cook it all the way through. So if I see what's going on here, it didn't stick, which is lovely. And it's beautiful, right? I can probably get some more color. So what I want to do now, you can do what you want to do. I'm going to lower the grill. This is where things get bum, 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 bum. Nerve wracking because the grill could be too hot now. Catch on fire. We don't know. Susan, Susan we don't have Kroger per se, but the Kroger family is here. They go by the name of Mariano's, but it's all part of Kroger. Yeah. So we do have Should Mariano here in Chicago. But Rose, you won't find anything just called Kroger. Let's go. Roberta says, T-shirt, crustification. <laughs> here, Rose. So get his lap here. Whoever's keeping a list of T-shirt ideas, crustification. Yeah, there you know go. what? I like. It's almost like Californication, but crustification. We actually have the Dream first Wave crust City Line T-shirt set. Uh, they're going to go into production, I believe, next week. I'm going to get samples. One of them says OM Ghee. One was created by Art. It's called Rated Ghee with a bu bucket of popcorn and ghee coming down there. And then the Rated Ghee, and it says highly clarified and something else. One says uh, low carb, high class with an avocado and a monocle. And the other one, Desi Design, it says pasture raised, grass fed, and wild caught. It's got a, like a stacking uh, image of like a, a uh, salmon a cow and a chicken. Okay, Rose, here you go. Look what we got for you, Rose. We brought this out here. Everyone said had a Rose, I had a Kara. Don't forget. Hello. Everyone's here now. Things are looking good. All right, let's do it. Things are looking really good. Flames under control, I'm happy. You're supposed to put water in there or not? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. 
Let me go. I'll go. Okay. You're going to get Rose. The count is uh, going inside. This is, you got a drink now. There we go. I'm going to get a pitcher of water for the roast here. Rose. 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 Eh. Where? Where's your tongue? Where's your tongue, Rose? What about your ears? Where are your ears? Okay, we're not going to play that game. <laughs> Rose, where are your feet? Where are your toes? Rose, high five? Anything. She's still waking up. <laughs> there we go. I know what it's like to wake up groggy. Okay. Making Rose, kefta, what? Jen H. Got you some water. water. Breathe. Me more. Okay, ready, Rose? Whoa! Hey, splish splash, my more. Right. Okay, now, all right, let's flip these. And flip it real good. Much better. And notice they're not sticking. A couple of reasons. Number one, the grill is hot. Number two, I cleaned the grill very nicely. Madeline Chopsky, ten dollars. The grill hasn't caught on fire yet. Bobby keeps going inside. <laughs> Wine glass and rose honey is present. Doesn't get much better than that, does it, Maddie? <laughs> and if they if they stick like this one feels it's not ready, don't flip it. You know they'll tell don't you. Flip when it real good. Flip. So actually, these don't feel like they're ready to flip. I'm gonna put it back down. Flop or flip or flip or flop. Something like that. Flip it and gone with cricket and young. Yeah, my more. Just don't touch that grill, Rose. Not too bad down there. I oh, see yeah. a lot of smoke coming out of your grill. Is that uh, expected or is that a problem? Um, I think as long as we keep our eye on it, let's just see if it's flaming. I think it's okay. Okay. Sing the fire song, please. <laughs> Vangelic 81, $5. Do you know if White Claw hard seltzer is keto friendly? Um, I believe yes, it is, because all it is is uh, malt liquor, natural flavors, with no sugar. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I want to throw some peppers and zucchini on the grill okay. really quick. So I'm going to cut the wall off of some organic peppers. You've got to go organic, in my opinion, because peppers are on the dirty dozen. Donna Wickham says, hello from Ohio. Love your family, and I am so thankful for you. Oh, you're so sweet. You hear Donna was that nice, Rosie? Who wants some watermelon? Brandy, we have some uh, pork kefta on watermelon? the grill. Watermelon? No? I'm fine. Rose, honey bunny. You're going to mangle my watermelon there, Rose? Knowing Rose, she loves the salt. I bet she would love the salt on the uh, on the watermelon. Her little sophisticated... Siva Brunstein says, Bobby, why do you like the Shun Dual Core? I just got it on sale for $215, and I had no idea chopping could be so fast and easy. Because it's just a great knife that feels really good in your hand and helps you plow through the food really quickly. It's not about necessarily having an expensive knife. It's about having a good quality, sharp chef's knife. Very important. Bobby, getting my book next week, I'm hoping nice. you can tell me from you or Art what you would make first. Ooh, well, Art will tell you what he wants you to make first. I'll tell you. Three right. hour bolognese. <laughs> And if you don't have to, if you don't have three hours to do that, the uh, meatballs, Nona's meatballs, those are really good too. Yeah, well, my favorite recipe in the book okay. is still the first recipe in the chicken chapter. It's the uh, Moroccan, it's the Moroccan chicken uh, stew with the golden cauliflower rice. I think that's just a lovely dish that has a lot of flavor and proves that you don't have to sacrifice any quality or flavor. When oh, Rose, good this salt. Hey, want a sip of your favorite? Uh, Drink a little S and salt is a baby margarita. While you do that, Bobby, I will read you a super chat from Anita Lyon, fourteen ninety nine. Shout out from your third biggest Bulgarian fan after Desi and Rose. Hey, Anita, blagodaria nogo nogo mi priato. Ooh, a little bit of juice for Dadith. That was good, huh, Rosie? Okay. Rose uh, these are on the garlic. Let's season the peppers. I'm gonna do something that might be a little tricky. I'm gonna grill. DJ Baby Broccoli. Now, normally when you have broccoli like this, it's baby broccoli, you want to parboil it and then grill it. What does that mean? It means you boil it in salted water for maybe a minute and it gets the initial rawness out of the vegetable. Well, I kind of forgot to do that, but I think we can get away with it by 
That's what was here. By uh, just grilling it indirectly. So, Rose, what I'm going to do. Got a super chat here from Rachel Murray. $15. Ray <laughs> Ciao, family. I have to go back to work. Oh, Conference Ray call. Have a good night. Wow. We'll catch up on shots when I get back. So, Rachie, you work really hard. You're Rose. very appreciated. Rose. And I hope you enjoy those uh, short ribs tonight. Jill Chopsky says, hi, Art. Hi, Maddie. Hello, Jill. Jill. in the house. I hope you had a good time uh, antiquing, Jill, last Sunday after uh, you had a nice visit with Maddie. So we're just going to take the baby broccoli, season it, oil it, and try to grill it. Shar has to run to see a Shar. Thanks Light for tuning it. Later, in. Shar, Shar. Alan Girl in the house. Hello, all. Hello. So we'll, we'll try to grill this. We'll try to do what we can without burning it. I think we can do it. Um, you can do it, Art. You can do it. That's sharp, Rose. Careful. There you Ruby, go. watching from Killeen, Texas. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to go back over here. Keep my, uh, Gen my H, five rose. Canadian dollars. For your info about the recipes, I will let you know what I've made. Thanks so much. Probably be the meatballs <laughs> or chicken. Oh, nice. Let me know. I love it. That's why I'm so excited also. Anytime you guys get the book, I'm excited because the recipes are really, really interesting. But I'll be really excited when you get the new book, Five Ingredients Semi-Homemade Meals, coming out on uh, December 1st because they're stripped down simplistic recipes using best-in-class ingredients and products from the grocery store that are healthy, nutrient-dense that anyone can make. And it's just so much info in that book. I'm very Char Troyer wrote, you can do it all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Char. High five. Milwaukee Brewer, $5. Ever watch YouTube videos by Cowboy Kent Rollins? Lots of cooking with cast iron over fire. Um, no, I haven't. But I, I should start doing that because I can't put a cast iron pan on this grill, Milwaukee Brewer. Um, big series coming up against the Brewers, I think the next week maybe, um, because this grill's not hot enough. But ideally, I'd have a really hot grill and put a cast iron on there and sear a steak instead of having to do it inside. But that's why I have that uh, that external burner, so I can do stuff like that. Oh yeah, let's. What am I looking for? Here we go. Let's get these broccoli just situated. Chapa broccoli. Chapa broccoli. I'm chopping broccoli. Uh, this, this should all be ready to flip now. She's chopping, she's chopping, she's See, that's chopping, what I'm talking about. She's chopping, she's chopping, that extra chopping, time on the chopping, grill. Broccoli. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. It was kind of sticking before. Now it's like, I'm not going to stick no more. How do you spell the line of clothing that Bobby wears? R-H-O-N-E. Yep. Uh, very, very. It's only for men. It's Canadian, right? Um, no. no it, okay, some sorry. of the stuff is made in Canada. Okay, okay. Yeah. But well, like I said, um, I got... A 15% off promo code for Don't you guys. Don't forget the H, so Brad. R -H -O -N -E. check out the, uh, yeah, check out the link in the description box. For men, I've been wearing all their workout clothes and their um, their athletic uh, leisure clothes really, really all the time. What do they call that camo pattern? Um, this is under the shirt. I don't know what it's called. Okay. Yeah, I wish the only thing my knock is I wish they had more styles and colors because I'll have I have three of these shirts, but they only have one of the sleeveless ones. And I like to sleeve this one to show off my guns, and they only have one. But I just got these pants from them that are kind of very casual called the Guru Pant. It's nice. So, guys, if you want 15% off, the last link in the description box is there. They didn't pay me any money. I just wanted to get you guys a promo. Jackie had them. Spiegel, $49.99. Yes. Gotta go. Bobby Art Rose. Happy Friday. Me. See you all soon. Love everything you do. Matt, love Thank you, peace. Jackie. You're so, so darn generous. Where are y'all going? Jackie's gone. Viviana, what uh, was my calling? Oh, that shopping broccoli. Jackie's gone. Uh, my girl, Rachie Murray's gone. My girl, char has gone. It's okay. How many people are watching now already? We got 1.2 thousand. Having a good time. Now, look. This one fell apart. But check it out, Art. I can actually get a glimpse. It's pretty much almost done. So what I want to do is move it to the top shelf here and let it gently continue cooking. I don't want to take it off the heat because I don't have any tin foil. Um, but that she's inside somewhere. working, Brad. She's here. She's working right now. Oh, she went to the gym, actually. Oh, I, I, I do. I, well, she is working to an extent. Yeah. I she went lied. to the gym. She was working hard all day. Now I'll just clean the grill. I got some zucchini to throw on here. And we'll make a sauce. I think I'll make a similar sauce to that harissa sauce. And uh, we'll dip the kefta in there. It'll be delicious. Let's whip, switch sides here, Arthur. If you're just joining, cheers. We got keto wine. Having a great time. Having Another great company. Time. We're having a good time. Let me just show you um, here real quick. Hello from La Habra, California. You guys are a big inspiration to my weight loss. Went from 330 to 249, still going. Always check up, always checking for the ingredients and always getting organic 
thank you means a lot. That's what you, you don't always Mike Mena. organic per se, but that's what I love to hear. Taking control of your health. Genevieve Lovell, 399. Super Genevieve. Chad, can't wait for your immunity tea. No, I'm very excited about that. Next live stream, I'll put the pre-sale link here. So, um, just below the recipe, if you want to get the keto wine, discounted shipping. If you want any of the kitchen gear I use, my Amazon shop page, I get a 2% commission. I used to get an 8% commission, but Bezos is greedy. Uh, my 15% off uh, promo code for the workout clothes and casual clothes and my cookbook to check it out. Just want to share that. Okay, let me just slice and dice the zucchini. Now, I said you don't have to buy everything organic per se. Now. A lot of people have the misnomer that organic means there's no chemicals at all. That's not true. Organic means that it's sprayed with organic approved, careful the grill, grill's hot, Rosie. It's sprayed with organically approved chemicals, but there's still chemicals, just not nearly as harsh as conventional chemicals. They can't use the nasty one as Roundup. And it's usually not sprayed um, with the harsh potent ones, but it is still sprayed. Just keep that in mind. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Zucchini is something that isn't necessarily on the dirty dozen, but I buy it organic because we eat the skin. Um, watermelon, obviously, is something you don't have to buy organic because it has the thick skin. The general rule is anything that has a thick skin that protects it, like avocados, pineapple, melons, you don't have to. Where's my salt? You don't have to buy organic. Roberta, if you're watching on your iPhone and if you have your phone vertical in the uh, portrait mode, there should be a little arrow that you tap beneath the video box and that pulls up the description yes, box. Yes, there's always an arrow. Let's well, take a little bite of that. You won't be able to see it if you're going landscape widescreen. Take a bite of that watermelon, young lady. Take a bite. This is what daddy does. Mmm. Okay. I have blueberries for you too if you want. Are you going to take a bite? No, you're just going to destroy daddy's. Yeah, Sarah, there's a few states mm. that uh, Psycho can't send to. Sorry that oh, yeah. uh, you're in one of them. Pennsylvania. Uh, let me get my um, Zookinkers on the grill here. There's yeah, a discussion, this, oh, discussion now on the difference between misnomer and misconception. <laughs> yeah, it's probably... I'm not good with words, you guys. I say a lot of things that I don't really know what they mean. Probably misnomer. I'm just a caveman. I'm just a caveman. Your world of iPads and live streaming really confuses me. It's probably not misnomer, misconception. I'm not verbally advantaged. I don't shower. I don't brush my teeth. You know, well, what are you going to do? Alyssa Eve Mitchell 93, 499 yeah. Super Chat. Hi, Bobby. Just ran my first half marathon. Way to go. Feeling strong and fueled by your recipes. Can you tell how you cook marinate Arctic char? Oh, yeah. So Arctic char is like salmon, but even like fatty and silky, but what I do to make it really easy is I just put salt and pepper and a nice shtickle of ghee on top, and I bake it at 300 degrees for about 20 to 23 minutes until the internal temperature is 129, 130, and that's it. Uh, it has a little more fat than wild salmon, so it's gonna give you some forgiveness, but it's really, really simple to make that way. Jen H, hey, I'm so happy for Art and the rest of the family. Lost 10 pounds since watching the videos. I feel great and happy. Love you all. Hey, great job. Love Thank to you. hear that. This avocado spritz is for you, my girlfriend. A little bit of zucchini on the grill now. SNL reference all the time, Viviana all the time. I lost one of the zucchini in the grill grates. Unfrozen caveman. Let's have a moment of silence like, for that zucchini. I think every time I'm here. So the idea is we'll grill the peppers, we'll grill the, um, we'll grill the zucchini, we'll grill the broccoli, we'll chop that up, we'll throw it in this bowl right here with uh, wild rice that I boiled earlier. We'll chop some kale in there. If I feel like it, I'll grate some cauliflower rice in there and we'll have the most nutrient dense, high protein, high fiber, gut friendly salad to go with those keftas. Now we'll make a little bit of yogurt sauce to go with that too. Kara, Debbie wants to know if Rose is dripping watermelon juice on you. I uh, mean, no, herself, <laughs> yes. Is watermelon, is watermelon keto? Uh, it's not, it's not, which is why we do a keto paleo diet. I can't imagine not eating watermelon, right Rose Honey Bunny? Wow, you're making a big old mess, huh, girlfriend? Viviana's going to tip a 40 ouncer in memory of that zucchini. A 40 ouncer of lime dirty now. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, sitting out here in the hot sun with y'all on a Friday night, eating some watermelon and rosé, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Joy, Joyce's, Joyce style of cooking, uh, sorry, Joyce, you need to be signed into your Google account to do a super chat. You or can't leave a, a comment. Or to leave a comment, you gotta yeah. be, yeah. 
Well, technically, I guess you are because you left a comment, so never mind. Um, yeah, if you haven't tried the keto wine, I'm telling you, sugar-free, no chemical added wine that tastes great, it's organic, it won't give you a headache, use my discounted promo code for shipping down below. I'm getting it's getting rained on now from the automatic water. A little bit later than normal, huh? Whoa, Brad Parham watching you in Airplane at the same time, perfect evening. Wow. Oh, and a cocktail, that's a great that movie. That sounds amazing. Old school, what year is that from? Oh gosh, 1980. Gochu Chang, let us know. I want to say 1983. Gochu Chang, let us know. All right, let's get. Is it from the 70s grill. or the 80s? Oh, 81. Okay. Yeah, 80 or 81. He says 80. Right? Dang. I keep it on my iPad, and when I fly, when I travel, I watch that on the airplane. Art's so funny because he watches the same things over and over, yet there's so many amazing movies that many of us have seen that Art's never seen, but he just doesn't want to branch out to them. I don't want to have to invest all that time to watch <laughs> a movie, whereas if I already know the movie, I can like hit the quit button anytime I want. I think salt and pepper are wild, but you took it on a whole nother level, Maggie B. I missed that reference. Art finally made me watch um, The Other Guys. Let me know what that is. Last year when we took that, a business trip down to Austin, Texas. And no, that, no, that was when we were, oh yeah, you're right, yeah, never mind. Austin. I thought we watched it in uh, St. Pete, Florida. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, did we do it there maybe? I think so. Oh, maybe it was in St. Pete, yeah. That's a good call. Oh, and a uh, fantastic super chat. Susan Credor, four ninety nine grilled catfish in zucchini tonight, and some seco red. Yep, hot in Texas. Hey, that sounds good. Now check out what I'm doing. Our our kefir off the grill. Once again, made with the Butcher Box ground pork. If I love the ground pork box I got from Butcher Box, I'm gonna sign up for their affiliate program. I'm, I'm grilled take watermelon. Some okay. Ghee right here, and just spoon it over. You guys see me do this stuff all the time. Just spoon some ghee over. Yeah, Rosa. Put some Windex on it. <laughs> And then that way, while it's relaxing, it stays nice and juicy. And you know what? I don't. I ran out of uh, aluminum foil. I'll have to pick some up at uh, Walmart this weekend. But I'm just going to put another sheet tray maybe on Gochujang top. Gochujang says if you'd use that bacon, you wouldn't have to use that ghee. <laughs> nah, nah. Gochujang, you know how hard that'd be to wrap these in bacon on a grill? The odds of the bacon burning before these are cooked through are high to quite high. Where are you going, Rosa? Here, Rosa. Rosa wants a little kefters, huh? There you go, Rosie. A little piggy watermelon for my on the piggy, grill. Right? Okay. A little piggy for my piggy. I've not tried grilled watermelon, but Let's maybe try I should again, sometime. Rose. Make sure they're seasoned properly, huh? Thank you, Lin Yu. Wow. That's delicious. The rosemary? Southern Indiana on the house. Has so much flavor, Rose. Take this one. Oh my God, Rose. That Thanks is for watching, Karen. Also, huh? You just got a super chat from Dionisio Cruz Jr., $4.99, and a bicep curling pair. Hey. Now we're talking. I will, Alan Girl. Okay, let me just put this over oh, here. I also have to remember it. to try it. Stay warm, just like that. And it's got a rest, Rosa. It's got a rest, Rosa. Oh, Rosa got ghee all over my rolling oh. pants. <laughs> Gochu Chang says grilled watermelon with a balsamic reduction and some feta. That would be amazing. I'm not a big fan of grilling um, watermelon. I don't think that really does anything to it. Um, watermelon and avocado, I just don't love to grill. But hey, dude, I had some amazing dude. grilled avocado. There was a Mexican restaurant in Highland Park uh -huh. that's no longer there. They would grill that. They would put a scallop on there too with some like barbecue really? sauce. It was pretty eclectic, but it was delicious. It was an appetizer. Oh, I think you mentioned that. Yeah. One. So guys, check it out. It's I'm incredible. making a dairy-free sauce. Today I'm using Kite Hill <laughs> Almond Greek Style Yogurt. This Not thing yogurt. is loaded with protein and um, fiber because of the almond protein isolate. And it has that tangy flavor, which is great. Whoa. It's because it has that strained effect that also has the extra um, protein and less sugar. Hey, yo, Natural Finley, sugar. finally here, beer number six. <laughs> Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat in the house with Toonses, Laura, Finley. A little bit of that harissa. I just love that harissa, you guys. I think it's just dinosity, right? A little bit of harissa. A little bit of. <laughs> you want a snack, huh? A little bit of EVO. Oh, 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 Rose, right? And then a little bit of salt and pepper and some herbiage. That's it. That's sauce. It's kind of the same sauce we did last week, right, Rose, honey? You would love this uh, yogurt too, Rose. It's amazing. Thanks for watching, the dairy Carlos in NYC. Has completely changed. Here, Rose. Wash it down with some S. Hey, greetings from Hungary. Force Ghost. 
My name oh, okay. is Hungarian, so. Oh, mushy. What is your name in uh, Arabic mean again? Like diamond? Uh, I think in Farsi, uh, I believe it w was uh, diamond hunter or something like diamond. that. Like pressed like diamonds or something like that, right? Persian. All right, a little bit of salt. Gen H, 10 Canadian dollars. Gen Bobby, a. please find a meat source for Canadian fans. We cannot get butcher box here. Oh. Please look up and contact somewhere. Please, please help a fan out. Thanks. I'm XO so Jenny and many hugs. Block. Can you guys get the Shepherd Meat there? Shepherdmeats.com is the company the Flav City fan started. Is that, I feel so bad for my fans in Canada. You're literally right there, north. No, you're right there. And you can't get 80% of the stuff we have here. When you do get it, it's double the price. Come on, what's up with uh, Justin Trudeau? Let's make a thing happen here, y'all. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You wanna bring the snack out here or do it inside? Yeah, I'll go grab it. Okay, okay, Ruth. We'll have a snack. That counts as ah, a body going inside. Mmm. Delicious, Ryan. Right a little more salt. Gotta let it breathe for us. Right? Mm. Uh, Joseph says, Bobby, those chomps from Thrive Market are like crack. Way too Dude, good. Aren't they so good? They have a nice snap to them. And um, they're so meaty and seasoned perfectly. Mm. How does that sound on camera, oh, folks, yeah. that chomp into the uh, watermelon? I bet that's a weird ASMR experience listening to Bobby slurp that down. Probably gross, right? <clears throat> Thanks, you, thank you, Dionisio. Oh, yes, he has a great side. Hello right? from Jupiter, Florida. Uh, mm. Alan Girl, don't get me started on what's wrong with Justin Thoreau. <laughs> Trudeau or Thoreau? Well, you wrote Thoreau. Thoreau. Me. I don't know who Thoreau is. Uh, Thoreau? Henry David Thoreau? Milwaukee Brewer, $5. I got my first Shepherd Meats order today. F mm. Shipped from California yesterday mm. and arrived at my house in Wisconsin at 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah, they have really good overnight shipping. That's pretty good pricing. And then the Flav City uh, promo code gets you 15% off. Ah, uh, Trudeau. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, let's, what's going on the grill here, huh? Wow. Susan, out, Susan Board says, Bobby, I'm not able to go into the grocery stores. I'm doing my groceries online. It's hard to get the food online. Yeah, it is harder. Although every time I go to Amazon, I see so many of the, uh, or Whole Foods, I see so many of the Amazon shoppers. It's crazy. Totally crazy. It's basically me and the Amazon shoppers there. Thoreau was married to Jen Aniston. Interesting. Oh, yeah. He is married, isn't he? But she hates him, too. <laughs> so it was, it was, well, sorry, I shouldn't say hate, but it was intended to be Trudeau, but I guess same applies to Thoreau. All right, we got some good, check it out, Art. We got beautiful color on the zucchini. Look at that. Yeah, I, I took it back. <laughs> beautiful color on there. Don't want to lose another one. Beautiful color on the uh, chushki, the peppers, and then look at our uh, rackley. We did a good job. Got some beautiful color on there. Cooking gonna, back on the Here's what I'm going to do to make sure it doesn't dry out. Spritz it with some ham. I mean, some avocado <laughs> oil. Oh, that's what they need to do. A ham scented <laughs> oil spray. Hey, they already have a bunch of other ones. Natural ham, not like ham flavor. Yeah, of course. Ham and then we'll just extract. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, Denny M, four ninety nine super chat. Bravo with this dude. Whoa! Thank you, Denny I M. I love that one. Look at Rose cleaning with Kara. Rose, you're such a sweetheart. Cause daddy makes a mess, right? Daddy makes a mess, he does. Mm -hmm. He makes a big mess. So helpful. Okay, let's come yeah, back. Yeah, I went from, on. don't get me started on Trudeau to Trudeau. I'm gonna go down and get Thoreau. some um, wild mint and some basil. That's right, Finley, regulators, mono. <laughs> that's <laughs> always, that's always the motto. It was a cold black night. Gonna get some of that mint that grows over it yonder. It took me forever before I knew that that song uh, sampled a uh, Michael McDonald's song. It's lovely mint here. I just cannot get enough. And it's growing. A cute so wild and free right now. That's I'm enough. young. I'm wild. I can't think of lyrics I'm when I'm on the fly free. here. Oh, it smells good. Wow. And then we'll get some basil right there. N A T E. Hey, Rose, honey, buddy. The Look at the you with your broom. You're such a good girl. Well, I got to water these plants here. They're getting a little dry. Actually, my neighbor left town a couple days ago and she asked me to water the basil and I may have forgotten and it's looking a little sad. So I'll do that as soon as the uh, stream's over. What a great neighbor I am, huh? They let me use their basil and I forget to water it. 
Have you watched, seen the SNL skit Puppet ah, Class? Ah, no, I ah, don't even know what that is. is Puppet Class. No, I don't know that Smell one either. Woo, Please do so send. Good. I'll have to check that Smell out. Smells so good. Your Smell SNL so recommendations yeah, you typically are quite good, Alan Girl, so Here, you send that one, one over this too. The, this is the mint. You could have that one. Okay. Good. John Cellini wants to know, do you ever go out to eat? How and where? <laughs> That's a tricky question. So, no. <laughs> Basically, we don't. <laughs> you started to go down that route. Yeah. yeah. Here's the deal. Well, especially since Corona, we just don't go out. Um, even when we go out and I find places that are farmed to table and use really good quality ingredients, they always still cook with canola oil and use processed salt. And I can tell the difference. But when we do go out, we try to go to locally sourced farm to table restaurants like a Frontera Grill. Like Thanks, a, Alan Girl. A Girl and the Goat or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm so, just so, so picky. It's crazy. So a little bit of mint and parsley and basil uh, in my sauce. Sarah has invoked some new rules. If Bobby is leaving the deck, I'm taking a drink to that. <laughs> Sarah, you guys are hilarious. Hey. You're hilarious. New era, new rules. <laughs> um, I can't tell you how beautiful the sauce is. So I talked about it last week, but this harissa. Um, check out the ingredients in here again. Art. I mean, it's a North African chili paste, but a lot of these store-bought products will have bad quality processed plant-based oils this has extra virgin olive oil but you know what's funny see the non-gmo certified there mm, I, I, I got comments blocking me. there we go yeah i talked about it in a video i filmed today that will come out uh i think this weekend like non-gmo certified is a group you pay them a small fee and you can put it on your product but because non-gmo is so in vogue right now they're putting it on products that have no gmos ever the major GMOs are going to be corn and soy or anything made with soybean or canola oil or corn oil. Stuff like this, stuff like peanut butter, stuff like, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, uh, what's another one? No, I've got Drinks, it. not yogurt. They put it on there purely. So they're like, oh, that feels good. I'm happy. But it's never going to have GMOs in the first place. Now so, I have in vogue in my head. By McDonough? No, the band in vogue. Oh, the band Never in going vogue. to get it, never going <laughs> to get it. So yeah, you really only have to worry about GMOs when they use corn oil and stuff like that and, and soybean oil, or if the product has corn and soy. If it's rice, it's not gonna be a GMO. If it's a coconut milk, if it's a, a harissa, if it's a butter, uh, well, butter could actually be GMO because the cows eat GMO, um, but you gotta be careful. But it really bothers me. Let me do my rant of the day here. Let me sit back, pour a glass of wine. So what really bothers me, I obviously have a very intimate knowledge of the grocery store. It bothers me how pervasive plant-based oils like canola oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, corn oil, and soybean oil are in the grocery store. They're very, very prevalent, but they're highly processed and highly refined. DJ D. Slav all the way from the Beijing with love. There she is. Hi, Straight from the gym. Let's see those biceps, girl. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Strong. Strong to quite strong. Anyway, those uh, oils are a processed, refined, GMO, and highly inflammatory. Only eat products that have avocado, coconut, olive oil, and that's it. The other ones are garbage. It's slightly better garbage when it's expeller pressed, but it's still garbage. It's cheap. That's why the products use them. It's cheap. That's why. They want to make money. When you're using extra virgin olive, extra virgin olive oil, it's more expensive, but I don't care. Charge me for it. Melissa Larson, four ninety nine super chat, and no comment. Thank you, Melissa. Mel, thank you so much. Wow, these veggies look beautiful. I'm going to add them to this. Can you hand me that double? B flat, G, uh, G minor, E flat, E flat minor, oh. yeah. F minor, the, F oh, G. Hot. It's hot tamale. Hot, hot. hot tamale. I have to get out the guitar and see how those sound. I can't just picture it in my head. Or hear it in my head, I guess is a better way to say it. Also, ETA. Uh, ETA, is looking, ETA is looking pretty swell, I'm not going to lie. I'd say we're, we can be 10 minutes out if we wanted to. Sweet. Yeah. Another one? I got her some plums. She's liking it. Oh, those are the plums? Yeah. Or she wasn't sure. She's like, oh, I've never had that before. What does uh, Morty Seinfeld say, Art? Tell them to eat a plum. <laughs> uh, Desi Sharman Rahman says, I love Desi's hair. Say, Desi's hair, say hi to her. So, Thank you. Hi, Desi's hello hair. Hello. Showered. From Sharman. Can Desi and Desi's hair scoop some ghee just on the top there and let it melt in? Mm. Hey. Mm. We love you. What spoon can I use? Uh, there's a clean one to your left on that sheet tray. Boom. Oh, Boom. Oh, 
Wow, this is the good stuff, you guys. Yeah. It's actually Rose's uh, stash. I get that one from Thrive Market because it's a bit cheaper, but um, it's the good stuff. Not Bobby, we need lunch ideas. I work construction and eat out of a lunchbox. Any ideas? You know what? Search Flav City lunch and lunch meal prep. I have a lot of old recipes. I have great recipes for chicken salad, tuna salad, um, really, really good stuff. Yeah, that can get challenging for sure. My son was in love with the En Vogue ladies. Okay, thanks, Vicky. Uh, I'm trying to remember their other song. Somebody mentioned Hold On To Your Love or something like that. That's down, put that on a sheet tray back I'm close to hearing the bridge. melody. Okay, yeah, now they, we're going to put the final touches back. on the... The way back Wild machine. and crazy rice salad. Look at that. Beautiful. Bobby, do you get cravings for junk food sometimes? We're all human, so I'm sure it happens. To be honest, chips. Yeah. For me, junk food would be like the potato chips we had for lunch today. But they're cooked in olive oil. I don't really crave junky junk food because junk food actually makes me feel really, really cruddy. If I want a pizza, we'll take a Capello's crust from the freezer and put some vegan cheese on there and make a pizza. So I don't really eat like typical garbage food because it makes me feel like garbage. When I have ice cream, which I have probably four times a week, I'll have the so delicious, sugar-free, no dairy added. Okay, so wild rice is in there. Peace, love. Joseph Finley, I was in love with the En Vogue ladies and lunch lady lad. <laughs> <laughs> the Hoagies and grinders, hoagies uh, and grinders. En Vogue ladies, is that from the 80s? Uh, uh, late. Late 80s, early 90s, in vogue. They were singers. Do you remember they that? They didn't play instruments. I'll put some basil and some mint in there. You gotta tell me a song. Never gonna get it, never gonna oh, get it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, now she's not. I grew up with it. Wow, wow, wow. In, in Bulgaria, R&B was very popular. Yes. Art, Art, can you ask Desi what she would make from the cookbook first? See what she says. Yeah, so Jen H is getting her cookbook, I think, like next week, and she wants to know, like, what to make first. I already made all the sweet huh. recipes. Uh, so you're asking me for maybe my favorite recipes from the cookbook? From the first what, what should she make from the, from oh. the, from the old cookbook? Oh, from an old She's getting lunch. that cookbook soon. Okay, meatloaf, for sure, one of my favorites. The, the prosciutto stuffed one? No. The other the one. The veggie? Oh, the turkey one? The turkey, turkey meatloaf. meatloaf is the bomb. The lamb kefta. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which is similar um, to this one we just made. Yep. Uh, the... You're welcome, Ellen girl. I gotta have the book in front of me. Red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. Uh, oh, we yeah, should make those today. Biscuits. What about the cookies? Oh, well, no, those two. I forgot. I should go grab it. Oh, we got a soup. Uh, oh, go. Oh, wait. Well, hold that thought. We got a super chat. So I, uh, I can't read your whole last name because uh, it just won't show it here. You are amazing. 1999 oh, super chat. Hair. You are Thank amazing, you, Soraya. Soraya. Thank you. I appreciate that, my dear. Very sweet of you. Yes, it is, ma'am. Here, look. Here. You can have from this one. Uh, D. Brown says, Art Almacy would say, do the bolognese. <laughs> if you have right. three hours, do the bolognese. Uh, that's the you, one. Won't, you won't be disappointed. That's the one that's recipe we haven't done on the live stream. That and make cheddar bay biscuits with also, it. Also, chicken uh, Rock salt chicken. Oh, yeah, the prosciutto and sage wrapped uh, chicken yes. thighs with almond chicken flour. Those are good. It's a beautiful recipe. Those are delicious. It's a beautiful day. And actually, the, uh, well, actually, I mean, they're all good. But I mean, the, uh, what's it, the, the five spice, uh, five spice chicken? The five spice chicken Asian? thighs? Yeah, that was the, uh, the cauliflower fried, uh, rice. Fried, fried cauliflower rice. Yeah. That's yeah, delicious. That's a good one too. Made that's that really, a bunch. It's a really great cookbook, you guys. It's, yeah, it's an amazing. I don't cookbook. want to pat myself on the back too much, but it's really good. Oh, well, see, Jen's calling, crying foul here because I said that the meatballs are really good, and she says, "Well, she didn't say meatballs." So, what do you think of the meatballs, Jesse? Anything with ground meat, like I said, captus meatballs. Uh huh. Ground turkey uh, meatloaf. Meatloaf, the bomb. No one has meatballs. See? Right there. Everything. Thanks for defending no, me on that one. Meatballs. Yeah. Oh my god. Because yeah, it's ground beef, pork, yeah. and veal. It's ultimate. That's amazing. It's the ultimate the combination. Red, red tomato sauce. Uh huh. It's thank it's you. Fantastic. Yeah. Failing me out. That's why I take your side whenever there's a discussion here between you and Bobby. I'm like, hey, Jesse's right. So I know eventually it'll come back to pay off. Let's talk about this salad for a second. Is it keto or paleo? No, because I have wild rice in there. But is that okay? I think mm -hmm. it is because if you're going to eat carbs, I always say make them count. And wild rice, which is actually an aquatic grass. It has tons of nutrition, tons of protein and fiber, and zero heavy metals. So then when you combine heavy that, heavy metals, which by the way, brown rice and white rice could be high in heavy metals, unless it comes from uh, California, which is pretty low. Um, but when you combine that with 
Oh, all the grilled cabbage. vegetables I'm going to chop up. Very the nice. red cabbage, Here the fresh uh, cauliflower rice, and all that good stuff. It's so nutrient dense. It's loco en la cabeza. So now we have to talk to about a dressing. I think for a dressing, I should just do avocado oil, mayonnaise, lemon juice, salt, and pepper, which means I have to go inside. So you guys, you all got to drink again. Wow. But uh, I think that's what I want to do. Let me just clean up the board here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get probably some plates too. And what did I say? Uh, mayonnaise and lemon juice. I'll probably have to go in. Again. Yeah, go back in again after that. Drink. No What's up? Yeah. Um, yeah. Give me the wrap here. And also some oh. uh, sweet potato for rose for dinner. Oh, I put it in the fridge. The yeah, I know. Just maybe bring out like one sweet potato. Okay. Bre breaking. Okay. Maybe so we can warm it up here. Breaking news, Bobby. Off, yeah. Joseph Finley is on beer number seven right now. <laughs> just pop it in and get pop, warm. Pop it in where the oven inside. No, no. Hey, I'll, I'll put the grill back on. Finley, I hope this one's to Bill Brasky. In Vogue, in Vogue. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Okay, BRB, y'all. Stay kind of blind. Don't be so shy. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. And apparently that song was in the movie Cowboy Way that Woody Harrelson modeled underwear to. So that's another movie that Art hasn't seen. So I don't know what you're talking about there, but maybe Dusty knows because I don't. Uh, no. Okay, I've not seen the movie. I've not seen it. Rose. <laughs> Hi. Where's your nose? Rose, I'm a gorilla and I dump my chest. To Art Brask. I'm a gorilla, Rose. Desi, do you remember, Alan Garlso, do you remember modern talking? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, Rose. Rose. Okay. Rose. Stuff together. Here. Where's your belly button? Not sure if you get Where's it. your belly button? Yeah. Yeah, show your belly button. <laughs> hey, Milwaukee Brewer has a question, Rose. What do you think of laissez faire capitalism? <laughs> She's for it. I can tell. Now say hello. <laughs> You'll get that someday. But she sees Uncle Farturo with a pocket on his jeans. Say hello, Rose. Say hello, everybody. Lots of people. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I buy organic strawberries now because of Rose. There you go. She's <laughs> selling them. Dirty dozen. Joseph Finley, Denny's, sadly cheap beer. I normally drink micro organic McGlobe Ultra. Okay. Gonna I think there's a discussion, not you, discussion on the board here between Finley and Denny. Oh, I'm gonna put it like that. That's not paramount. Well, how else would I do it? I prefer like on something. Mm. I prefer Map Quest. That's a good I one too. Google no. Maps well, is the best tree at Double Tree. 58 the Broadway okay. step on it, sir. What you want to do, Chris? <laughs> Snack attack. I'll get our start. I'll get our start. <laughs> I'm going inside what again. Drink. Drinking game. Bobby's going yeah. <laughs> Finley, uh, your beer consumption, is that tied to Bobby going in the house or is that independent? So Bobby, I see, have made, has made his classic yogurt sauce here with her Risa yogurt mm -hmm. uh vegan yogurt vegan from kai feel and some mint uh, bobby is the king yeah. of sauces and kefta and salads and everything in between tammy gardner just gave a five dollar super chat love the weekly videos especially diabetic and sugar ones recently nice to meet the dad in one as well have a great <laughs> nice. weekend all thanks tammy Thank appreciate that Oh, Finley's on beer number eight. <laughs> I feel like the theme song for this video should be Ed Sheeran instead of sing. It should be drink. Like, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. drink. Because <laughs> I go inside so more. <laughs> okay. Is this dirty? Oh, I mean, it's dirty, yeah, it's dirty, it's dirty but... dozen. Just as long as it's Yeah, it's just almond flour in there. It's oh, not a big deal. Okay, let me chop up all these vegetables. Look at that. All right, that's a grilled 
Made non either. Uh, can I maybe peel some of the blood stuff? If you feel like taking the cancer out, sure. So I'm gonna take <laughs> zoo kinkers. We got some uh, BGs on there. Really. No. Oh yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, we, yeah, we're speaking Bulgarian. Oh, did you say something? To please, you? please, oh, organic please. wine website. Well, I can help I you out with that. Of course I This did. is what you want to look up. Seco Wine Club. Yes, where Go can Google. I find the promo Bobby has a, You have a link for that, don't you? I do have a link. And it's in the description box. It's so in the description box. Go and it's check like it out. Description Jeez. box, link for the wine, link for my clothes, the men's only workout and casual clothes from Rome. Mm -hmm. Got my Amazon store there. We got you hooked up, you guys. Is Rudy's Paleo Spelt Bread any good? Um, R-U-D-I. Yeah, I haven't seen that version of Rudy's. For the most part, Rudy's is not really that Bobby approved. What do you think of Rudy's antique clothes? Um, I'm more prone to Rudy's antique clothes from uh, Seinfeld. Okay. Are you surprised I knew that? Uh, no, I knew that. I just don't know if anybody else knew what I was talking about. Elgar probably did. Big Seinfeld fan. I don't know right. who Thank else knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so tons and tons of veggies in here, but a lot of them are bland. Always season your salads. A good Rudy's antique clothes pinch of from salt. Seinfeld. A good cracker. Cracker, 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 cracker. Nope. Of black Something pepper. Something just hit me in the foot. It's a lemon. No, it's a lemon. Arch down. Arch down. Lemon down. Okay. Then, no, so I'll take funny. a big... Lemon, <laughs> she loves this lemon. She's such a cuckoo. It's unbelievable. It's good. Yeah, it the lemon, then we'll take a bunch that. of the we'll avocado oil mayonnaise. This is the Chosen Foods one, one, but the uh, Sir Kensington sugar-free one or the... Uh, Primal Kitchen one. If you live in LA, they have a Primal Kitchen Costco size one that is a gangbusters deal. Like, lights out. Where can I buy the S grapefruit drink that you always drink? Um, Target. Target has, and I believe if you go to their website, s.com, you can get a $1 coupon right now. They're a really nice company out of Elgin, Illinois. Uh, whatever, we, some harissa. whatever we just said made uh, Johanna Chong think of the library late fees for Tropic of Cancer on Seinfeld <laughs> with Bookman. That's right. Mars V, $5 super chat. Bobby, your thoughts on base culture keto bread? Ingredient wise, amazing. Mm -hmm. Flavor wise, okay. Very expensive, but one of the best quality ingredient breads in the grocery store by far. And Alan Girl says, Bobby, if you ever need anything from LA, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. So, if you live in LA, they also have coconut sugar now. At Costco. Really? Yeah. And oh, some wow. Costco's have grass fed ghee. Amazing deal. Come a long way. We've come a long, That's long amazing. way if together. Anybody, it would be LA, obviously. Whoa, that I half a lemon has that many seeds. Look at that. That's crazy, Rose Honey Bunny. Yeah. I'm lucky enough that uh, Primal mm -hmm. Kitchen puts me on their VIP list. So anything I need, I just email them and they send it. It's a real nice perk of my job. Um, but otherwise, I have you guys ship that PK uh, mayonnaise for shizzle. It's the best deal. You should miss a coconut for you. Have you, <laughs> have you or <laughs> Desi like tried red. Boca sweetener yet? Um, no, I haven't tried that one yet. It looks legit, though. B-O-C-H-A. Is it Boca or Bocha? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because it's from the kombucha, so it's probably Bocha. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's probably Bocha. Um, Where's your gadget for the lemons, Bobby? I'm not going inside just for that. Good uh, try. Uh, uh, All right, here's some things. Good try, Holmes. Thank you. We'll eat that on the side, I think. Any recommendations on sprouted organic brown rice with not so much arsenic? I've never seen sprouted. Extra arsenic for me, please. I've never seen sprouted brown rice at the store. So if it's California brown rice, it's going to have very low arsenic or heavy metals. It's other parts of the world you have to worry about. But has anyone seen sprouted brown rice at the store? I haven't seen That's that. That's amazing. Get it. That's probably the best one you can find. Right? Why is sprouted uh, grains like that better for you? Yeah, sprouted uh, grains are better... Uh, easily more easily digested. Exactly. So. so for kids, when you introduce grains to kids at the appropriate age, soaked and sprouted are very important. Very, very important. A lot of parents don't realize that. All right, this salad is looking bomb, dizzy calm. Yeah, Rose. Let me, ch let me check it for seasoning. I might even Are you hungry, Rose? Mm. I want some meat. Come on, Rose honey's hungry. I gave her a little taste earlier. All right, that is absolutely perfect let's wow. build a plate amazing let's do it let's build a plate let me get my knife out of here okay here's what we do rose honey bunny Place plates are over there. yonder whoa oh her uh, sweet potatoes still here Holy water, okay. it's getting there mm. so far. Beautiful. 
<laughs> Rose is like creating more work than I me here. Know. I certainly hope so, Andrew. Uh, according to Andrew Adlin, there's lots of surprises so far today in the NHL playoff games. Really? Yeah. Do let me know what happened. It's exciting. I've I not been paying attention to be honest. Um, I'm just excited about the Cubs being so good. I'm excited about the Hawks. What about Dada? All right, so a little use bit. the tongs to squeeze the lemon. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So a little bit of salad goes down. Then, <laughs> do you see that reaction? Show Rose is a reaction. Rose, are you ready for dinner? <laughs> she gets really excited about dinner, you guys. <clears throat> okay, a few kefta go down. A couple of the brocks. A little bit of chushki, a little bit of zucchini. Then we're like, yeah, we got our harissa dairy free yogurt sauce here. And while you do that, Kate and Heinz just gave you $4.99. Me and my sister Kale would like Kale. to give our grandma a shout out. She watches all your vids and loves them. Grandma, Kale, grandma. I hope uh, you're having a great time on a Friday Kaden, night. Kaden's grandmother. Kaden, grandma, I hope you're having a great time on a Friday night. And you have great grandkids. And I hope they make this for you. Because look at this. I mean, this is what good eating is all about. We take a little bit of parsley. Make Hilda happy. Make Hilda happy. We just rip it up very crudely. And you guys, there it is. Check this out, Rose. Grilled pork kefta like with dairy-free harissa yogurt sauce, a wild rice crunch <laughs> fiber colon blow salad, <laughs> and grilled veggies. That's the food you want to eat. I've got all sorts of breaking news here, Bobby. Break it. Milwaukee Brewer, $10. Adam Ragusei. I recently did a YouTube video on arsenic and rice. In addition to California, he says that rice sourced from India and Pakistan beats the rice sourced from China. U.S. South is also bad. Yeah, but California is supposed to be the good one, correct? Milwaukee, thank you for that. Super In addition chat. to California, right, India and Pakistan is good, too. Okay. Uh, good to Kathy B says, Cubs got postponed tonight because St. Louis players have COVID. Are you serious? Oh, Gabby, Gabby Rich, four ninety nine Super Chat. Spicy. Let me just taste. Thank you for that, Gabriella. Appreciate that. Everyone's saying how the food looks delicious. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, that surprises me about India because... The food safety laws and the environmental laws there are not as tough as here, so that actually makes me feel pretty good because I didn't know um, I didn't know that. And Cal Maggie B is hungry. I don't blame you, Maggie. Send send some of this to Maggie B. FedEx Custom Critical. Rose, let everyone know how it is, please. Get the one with the yogurt. It will open up your appetite, Rose. She likes the yogurt. Remember last time? Mm -hmm. Try this one, you love. This for me, Bill? Yeah. Here. I just want to try a bite of everything together here. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Jill Chopsky, Rose, just gave a $20 super chat. Oh, isn't Jill so sweet? Jill says, another amazing meal. Cheers, Flav City family. Oh, I don't know. Finley just gave $4.99. I got a fever. Mm -hmm. The only prescription is more super chats. John Joseph and the amazing Technicolor. Thank you. Are you Rose, on the is it good? ninth beer now? Is it good, Rosie? Mm. Yeah. Wow, well, man. Thank you to all you yeah, super chatters. Yeah. The key is using ground pork. Ground pork. Quite the different spices. Mm -hmm. It's like grilled kifte. Delicious. Thank you. I'm Bulgarian my, Bob. My mom would be proud. Deborah's having major FOMO. <laughs> well, you can make it at home. The key is not getting a lean ground beef because I'm probably going to overcook. If I was using beef, I'd do 80 20 ground beef to fat. But ground pork is so fatty. And that pasture raised ground pork, my God, is great. As long as that bacon tomorrow from Butcher Box is good, like I said, I'm going to join the affiliate program. I'll get you guys a promo code. It's because Thrive Market's been out of pork now for two months. I don't know if it's coming back. And Daddy needs his pork rose. So I'm going to go source it from Butcher Box, and I think it's going to be great. And Coffee Pot needs start. to know. Coffee Pot needs to know if you've taught Rose how to burp. Uh, no, we haven't done that. She does I that herself. I need to teach her. She'll pick yeah. it up. Um, Andrew so Adlin good. just gave $5. Enjoy the meal. See you guys next week. I need an innovate recipe for portobello mushrooms. Uh, you know what? I don't do much stuff with portobellos, but that's a good challenge. Look at that baby up there. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Here, Rose is shine. What's this going on? Mm -hmm. Show Rose. This is all Rose. She's already done with the plate. This is all Rose. She's crushing life. Wow, right. Babe, delicious. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Waving to yourself. It's Rose. Rose, is it good? 
Is it tasty, Rose? Huh? Yeah, there's Uncle Farty. <laughs> it's good. Rose, is it good? Tasty? Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> that's my gal. My gal arena. Okay. All right, take a bite off of that plate there. That plate's clean. Here we go. At the caveman or have utensils? No, I got I got okay. clean utensils. I'm just a cave. <laughs> I fell into some there ice. You go, Thank you. Mmm. This looks delicious. I'm very, very exciting. I already saw the hashtag feed art. Oh well, yeah. Hashtag that, feed Arturo. It's always trending this time on Friday night. It's always trending. Get a little bit of sauce on there. On Friday night. Sweet potato flour. Oh. How can you use that? Mm. That's interesting. Have not used sweet potato flour yet, but sounds pretty good. You know what you can make? Probably can make like crackers with it. This is fabulous. Wow, this thank you. <laughs> that was very, very uh, sophisticated the way you said that. An egg uh, and bake it. I, I'm sure it will, it will work for that. I think the way I said it, I was inspired by Will Ferrell and the other guys when he's talking about the uh, cucumber accented water. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. delicious. The cucumber really accents the water. <laughs> Can we get the flavor profile? That's good, yeah. This, the what flavor profile all is very Art's complex. Gotta Art's got to describe the flavor profile. Very, you got a, a smoky okay. grill hay in there. <laughs> and um, the spices and the uh, the grill hay have a lot of synergies. Well Taste, said. Flavor synergies. Can My you, transmitter's about to die here, so this could be the final words you, you hear from Art grill hay is your final words go? Grill hay? Alton Brown once told us there's a thing called wok hay, which I don't grill the wok much, or I don't cook with the wok much, but he says... Me neither. The flavor of the wok is the wok hay, so I said, well, why not have grill hay? So, cheers to everybody. I'll show that. That's the avocado oil mayonnaise right here. Doesn't Chosen foods. Or I get the uh, Sir Kensington from uh, Costco, or the uh, Primal Kitchen from California, uh, Costco's too. So, that's it, you guys. Wow, another great Friday with Flav hanging out with my girl Rose Honey, the love of my life. Desi Slava, DJ D Slava from the BG. Kara's in the house. Uncle Farturo's here. Really good stuff. Uh, we'll be back next week. Probably just one live stream on Friday because uh, next week is the last week to get the book done. And Desi is really cracking the whip on us to uh, finish the manuscript. So I don't think I'll have time for uh, what's going on out here on Tuesday. We'll fly airplane live stream. I don't know what approach Blue that Eagles is. Eagles going here or something like that. Um, but great time hanging out. I got two videos coming at you tomorrow. Make sure to enable the bell icon below the video. That way you get a push whenever a live stream or a video goes live. But Rose and Desi and I and Carrie will see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys. Bye. Really go Cubs, go Hawks. <laughs>